Hey guys, welcome back to 40 Plus Life, or welcome if you are new. I'm Veronica, and today I am actually going to show you how to do the 100 envelope challenge, the wing it way, the way I've been doing it. So I've been getting a ton, a ton of comments and messages about how they really loved how they, how I did my 100 envelope challenge because, you know, people can be a little scared of the 100 envelope challenge because of the traditional way you do it. So you have an envelope from one, like, like so. You have your envelopes. I don't think this is in order anymore. <laughs> but you have one, you put a dollar in, right? You get to 100, you have to put $100 in. I don't know about you, but I can't do $100 at a time, you know? And I don't want to because I want to spread my money around to other things. So if you can do it, that's awesome. Then please do it because that is an awesome amount of money saved. It's like over $5,000 if you do it the traditional way. Now I recently completed and unstuffed my 100 envelope challenge and I ended up saving 1,795, I think. <laughs> I can't remember, but I know it was somewhere around there and I can't find my sheet, of course, that just figures. And so people were like, well, how did you do it? And this and that. So I'm gonna show you from the beginning how I did it, okay? So I already have, come this coming year, I'm actually gonna do the 50 envelope challenge. So I already have my 50 numbers already in here ready to go. So. I'm scaling back a little bit, but the numbers are gonna be a little bit higher. Like I'm not going over 50, but there's gonna be more higher numbers as opposed to low numbers. <laughs> All right, so this is exactly how I did it. So I'm gonna show you that you can do this for any budget, okay? So if you are super low income, you can still do this. So first of all, you wanna think about how much you can actually put in Realistically, like if you if and how often you're gonna do this challenge. So if you're gonna do this challenge once a week, how much money can you put in each week? So you start off with a piece of paper and you just decide how much money, like I like to start with the max. What is the max amount of dollars realistically I feel comfortable with? So let's say your max is $20. You just write down 20, okay? Bigger, however big, small, however you want to do it. Like, actually, I probably want to go bigger. Okay? That's the max I want to do. Okay? So, I'm... And from there, I just I just go at it. So, if you want to stick with even numbers, as in 5, 10, 15, 20, in that even way, then you can do that. If you want to vary it up, like sometimes maybe you want to do a dollar or three dollars, then you just you just start writing. And this is how I did it. I just kept going. I just put random numbers down. It didn't matter. I just I just wrote and wrote and wrote. And some of them I'd have more of. If I felt more comfortable with the lower numbers, I'd put more of those. If I feel like, oh yeah, I can do $20 once in a while, then I'll put less 20s. So you just do it like that. And then I would just cut them out. And then I'd fold it up. So I used really thick, <laughs> thick paper because I didn't want to be able to see through it. So depending on the pen, if you use a Sharpie on this, you're going to see through it. So in this regular pen I used, I'm not going to see it, which is fine. So, and then you just get a cup, a jar, a box, an envelope, whatever you want to do, and you just put them in. Now this is if you want to do it, you want to be surprised. This is if you want to do it this way, okay? I just do it like that. Fold them up, cut them up, write them up, cut them up, fold them up, done. Okay, so let's say you got all your, you got all 100 numbers done. Set that aside. And now you go on to your envelopes, okay? You don't need to purchase fancy envelopes like this, okay? There's no need to. You can make them yourself if you have a laminator. Just see what you have around the house. Like, there you go, I got these little baggies that I use when I'm sending stuff. You can use these as your envelopes. Just, you know, put your money in, fold it in half, or, you know, wait, hold on, hold on. Before you put your money in, 
you want to decide how you're going to do your envelopes, okay? So you can just, you don't have to do anything fancy, like I said. You can get these big envelopes like these. You can cut them in half, or I think you'd have to cut them in half. You can probably use the smaller ones, not these long ones, but use the ones that are a little bit smaller. And then, so let's pretend, let's pretend the envelope was this size, okay? So you cut it in half. We'll pretend like this one doesn't exist, and this was the two, this was the half, okay? <laughs> so now you already have it. It's already, it's already ready to go. Well, you might, oh, well, you might want to seal it first, okay? <laughs> seal it first. You can tape it if you want, but it's already ready to go. And so then you can write your number on it. Now, the way I did it, because a lot of people were wondering about that, is how I was doing the numbers. I was doing it in consecutive order. That's all it meant. So on my tracker sheet, one to 100, I just, in the one, I drew my, drew my number. Hey, I gotta save $10. I'd grab my number one envelope, put in $10, and file it away. That's it. So as I was saying, so you can use these kind of envelopes. Very easy to use. You can pretty them up, put stickers, use different color pens. I have these little bags that I can use. Just fold them up. Anything you have around the house, you can use. If you have a laminator, you can get construction paper, cardstock. Just make your little envelopes and just, oh, I just put this out of order. Oh, well. And that's it. And so the main gist of it is you have your envelopes ready. You have your your dollar amounts that you realistically can do and then each week or however often you're going to do it you'll grab it open it up get your money put it in the envelope file it away next week you grab the next one oh, oh i gotta save 20. okay you grab envelope number two because you're doing it in consecutive order put your money in and there you go and that is it it is so easy to do because you don't have to follow the general rule. You just do what works for your budget. And that is why I love doing it this way. And it's more fun because you know that you maybe you put a little bit higher number just to make it a little bit more scary. Like I put 50s in. Whew, 50s are scary for me, okay? But they're in there. If I feel I have enough money and I grab a 50, Oh yeah, I hate it, but remember, it's $50 I'm saving for whatever I'm gonna use it for. Like, like when I paid off my car. All that money went to pay off my car. And it was the most amazing feeling in the world. And I don't feel bad that I didn't save $5,000 because I didn't do it the traditional way. I felt awesome that I saved $1,700 and then I grabbed everything else from my binders and stuff that I needed to be able to pay off my car. And it was awesome. And so if I can do it this way, so can you. Maybe your 100 envelope challenge will say $500. That's awesome, that's $500 you didn't have before. So you just have to think of it like that. This is all money you didn't have before. Even if you do a dollar for every single envelope, that's $100. Did you have that $100 yesterday? No. So just think of it like that. And now you all can do it too. So easy. And it's fun because I love shaking it up. Da -da 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 -da. And then you guys are like, ah, you saved $10 or ah, it was a 50. I will never put a number in there that I don't think I can't handle. Like I would never put a hundred in there. No way. Even if I was, even if, you know, say I got a tax refund and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stuff all this money. I'm not gonna start adding in hundreds in there because I, all of a sudden I can do it. No way. <laughs> So I think I covered everything. Oh, one other thing. That's why I had this book out. Additionally, or instead of, you don't have to have envelopes either. You can just do one envelope. Now, if you use the A5 size envelopes, you can actually save more money in there. Like it doesn't feel all cramped in there like it would for an A6. So you can just, and you can split it up into two if you need to, but just put all your money in here, your 100 envelope challenge, and then just put it that way. You can use your tracker to keep track. You can get a tracker to fit into this envelope, however you wanna do it. So I'm gonna tell you, so last 
This past year when I did the 100 envelope challenge, I did keep track on my little tracker, but I didn't count it because I didn't want to know how much it was till the end. This coming year, 2023, I'm going to be doing the 50 envelope challenge. I'm going to keep using, reusing my wonderful envelopes here, and but I'm only going to go up to 50. This time, I'm not even going to track it on a tracker. I'm just going to put it in my envelopes and at the end, pull them, unstuff it like I did. But this time, I'm not even going to track it. Just going to stuff it and then we'll see what happens. So there's so many different ways you can do it. Just do what feels comfortable to you. Sorry if you're shaking. Just do what feels comfortable to you. Just do what's in, what just do what's within your budget and have fun with it. That's the most important thing. I had so much fun doing this. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to finish it in time. And here comes the emotions once again, but <laughs> it's all thanks to your guys' support that you were like my cheerleaders in the comments and you motivated me to get past that 80 envelope. You know, I said, oh, I, I want to at least get up to 80. Well, thanks to you guys, I was able to finish it. I, I did whatever I could to finish it. I forget any other challenges. This is where I was going to go. So thank you guys so much for that. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. But <sighs> yeah, I had a great time doing this. I'm really looking forward to doing the 50 envelope challenge little bit different but it'll still be awesome so oh I hope this was helpful for you but if you have any questions like if you if I miss something then please do post in the comments below and I will definitely answer your questions also feel free to email me if you have if you don't want to post in the comments but you want to ask me some other questions about this privately then that's fine too it's all in the description box below so all right, guys, so then that is going to do it for this video. 100 envelope challenge for everybody, all right? Don't be scared of it. It is for everybody. We can all do this. All right, guys, you all have a wonderful day. Remember to stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Gambatane! Look at that handsome fella wearing his ho-ho-ho sweater. <laughs> Let everyone see, Nags. Ho, ho, ho. Are you a good boy? Are you cozy? Good job. This guy's cozy. Hey, Mooch. What's he doing over there? Oh, Ollie. <gasps> He's being bad on camera. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day.